वेलकम टू मै यूट्यूब चानल टूडे वो आर डिस्कसिंग दि वन मोर कॉन्सेप्ट सीबीसीटी द सीबीसीटी इज नथिंग बट को बैलेंस करे ट्रांसफार्मर द सीबीसीटी मेनली वी आर् यूजिंग फर् द प्रोटेक्शन फर् द्री फेज थ्री वैर फेडर आर थ्री फेज थ्री वैर लोड प्रोटेक्शन पर्पस् वी आर् यूजिंग दिस सीबीसीटी हाउ इंटर्नली इट वाज हाउ इट वाज प्रोटेक्टेड नौ वो डिस्कसिंग This is the core. This is the core. This is the core. This is the winding. This is the winding means coil. This is the winding coil. This is the core. This is called as core. In this core, we are passing a three feeders. In this core, we are passing a three feeders. This is called R, Y, B. Now we are passing three feeders. This feeder is called as R, Y, B. Three faces. These three faces were passing through this core. This phase current is called I R. This phase current is called I Y. This phase current is called I B. This phase current is called I B. In this here one circuit breaker is there. This is called as C B. This is called as circuit breaker is available. How exactly it was working? Now we go for the normal operation. Now we go for the normal operation. This is the source side. This is the source side this is the load this is the load side this is the source side this is the load side the current is passing from source to load in between cbct is available in between core means cbct is available in normal operation ir iv 10 amps 10 amps 10 amps means the current in r phase 10 amps the current in y phase 10 amps the current in B phase is 10 amps. 10 amps, 10 amps current is passing these three feeders. That corresponding flux, that corresponding flux, every phase was generated flux. R phase was generated flux, Y phase was generated flux, B phase also generated flux. The resultant flux is zero. The resultant flux is zero. Finally, the voltage at fault is zero. Voltage at fault is voltage is zero in this coil. Well, the normal operation was going. Ten amps, ten amps, ten amps is going. In this CBCT, mainly we are using for the unbalanced current is passing through these feeders. It was tripping. Means unbalanced means some percentage also has given up to twenty two percentage of unbalanced is allowing. Up to twenty percentage, twenty two percentage of Total load, twenty-two percent is of total load. Unbalanced current is passing exceed that it was tripping. Exceed that it was tripping. How it was tripping? This is twenty-two percent is what is allowing. Now twenty-two percent is which R phase is Y B uh, R phase ten amps Y phase ten amps B phase ten amps is passing. Okay. Now twenty-two percent is how much in the ten amps? Two point two point two amps is coming. 2.2 amps is coming in 22 percent means now it's 12.2 10 amps 10 amps in these three feeders 12.2 amps in R phase 10 amps in Y phase 10 amps in B phase passing also the CBCT was not dripping why because in this CBCT up to 22 percent is unbalanced current is passing. Exceed this 12.25. It was tripping. Means exceed this means R phase 10, 10, 10. R phase 15 amps, Y phase 10 amps, B phase 10 amps is passing. Is passing in these three feeders. This current corresponding flux was generated. This current corresponding flux was generated. This current corresponding flux was generated. But the resultant flux is. Not zero. 
that corresponding voltage some that is all that corresponding voltage also not zero the command it will give the command it will give to the circuit breaker the circuit breaker was isolated to protect the fader and as well as to protect the your connected load protected the fader as well as your connected load the breaker was isolated the command is coming from coil this is the abnormal this is the abnormal operation this is the abnormal operation it was tripping up to 22 percentage this was given a, a rating of the the cbct up to 22 percentage that corresponding core was made exceed that it was tripping this is only the single core uh, somewhere we are using a somewhere we are using every phase one one core this is one core this is one core this is one core these three corresponding messages one more device is there this device fault is happen the command it will go to the circuit breaker this is uh, here every phase have the one 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 uh, current transformer is there but here only the single co single current transformer we are using this is the very cheapest cost compared to this this uh, every phase we are using one one ct means more cost is available this kind of uh, process we are using high range areas high level loads high level faders this cbct we are using a low level loads it's a low level loads we are using this cbct this uh, every phase one one ct we are using in high level uh, this is the cost is less this is the cost is cost wise also this is the more now we go for the vector diagram how exactly uh, the resultant flux is, is zero this is the voltage at r phase voltage at b uh, y phase voltage at b phase voltage at b phase means voltage at r phase equal to voltage at y phase equal to voltage at b phase equal some voltage some x voltage the magnitude of all voltage it should be same the magnitude of all voltage it should be same the angle is 120 degrees the phase to phase voltage angle is the 120 degrees every phase is the same 120 degrees the current is lagging some angle this is called current in r phase this is called current in y phase this is called current in v phase this angle is called as pi angle this is called as power factor angle the arithmetic sum of current in r phase current in y phase current in b phase equal to 0 means the vector sum of the the vector sum of the all currents equal to 0 this is the normal operation the, uh, the vector sum of the all currents is 0 means it's a normal operation normal operation means here fault a normal operation means there is no voltage there is no command this normal operation was doing no tripping no tripping this resultant current the vector sum of the all currents is not zero means this is the normal operation this is the abnormal this is the abnormal operation this current the resultant current the vector sum of the currents is not zero corresponding flux was producing that corresponding command it will give to the circuit breaker this i this ir corresponding flux was generated those flux is called r flux this corresponding flux was generated y flux this corresponding flux was generated b flux this is also zero is for normal operation not equal to zero is the abnormal operation means normal operation uh, there is no voltage across the coil it was working in normal no command due to the circuit breaker abnormality is happening here voltage was producing here voltage was generated that voltage triggering command it will give to the uh, circuit breaker the circuit breaker was isolated protect the fader as well as load 
this is the normal and this is the abnormal operation uh, the resultant flux the arithmetic sum of the arithmetic sum of the currents is zero the arithmetic sum of the currents is not zero its zero is the normal operation not zero is the abnormality operation i will show in vector diagram these two means equal to zero normal operation not equal to zero abnormality operation now i will show the uh, vector diagram this is the current for example every phase 10 amps 10 amps 10 amps is passing every phase current means current in r phase current in y phase current in v phase this is 10 amps this is 10 amps this is 10 amps is flowing this is 10 amps is flowing here you have the two cases the vector the vector sum of these two the vector sum of these two this current is called as resultant current this current is called resultant current this current and this current exactly 180 degrees to each other this current and this current exactly 180 degrees to each other 180 degrees each other how ib plus this is called minus of i resultant minus of i resultant for example this is this for example this will, will take x and this also it will take x this ib is the x plus this i resultant is the x x plus and minus you will get minus finally you will get zero finally you will get zero this is the finally you will get zero this is the normal operation this is the normal operation i will show the vector diagram i will show the vector diagram how the result the arithmetic sum of the currents is zero i will show the currency zero in normal operation next if you go for the abnormality operation how now if you go for the abnormal operation abnormal operation how it was going in this case you will take 20 amps 10 amps 10 amps r y b 20 amps 20 amps the abnormality how it will take one is the take the overload any fault is happen more current is coming one more thing any uh, more load we are applying especially especially one uh, one of the phase that time also it will coming now if we now we go for the vector diagram this is the r this is the current at r phase the current at y phase the current at b phase the current at b phase now we'll take the now we'll take the vector sum of this is this current is called r resultant current this current is called r resultant but this angle is not 180 degrees this angle is not less than 180 degrees this angle is not 180 degrees this angle is not 180 degrees basically in this operation this is the 20 amps this is the 10 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 amps and this is the 20 amps now we will see basically now here is coming this current is called fault current. Fault current is how much? 10. The result, the result means previously we are adding the IV plus I resultant. Same way we are adding these two. Fault current you will get 10 amps. Fault current you will get 10 amps. This fault current 10 amps, the corresponding flux also producing. Here voltage was not 0. The voltage was not equal to 0 the command it will give to the circuit breaker the circuit breaker was isolated the circuit breaker was isolated this way to protect the traders and as well as 
some loads protection purpose mainly we are using this cbct the cbct you are using mainly mainly the cbct we are using mainly protection for the fader and as well as protection for the load